Well, I'm back. So, I'm actually trying to decide here something I'm going about what I'm going to do. Um, I figure while I decide on that, down here, Tralala, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? So this is a fast travel system. It'll take you between Snowden, Waterfall, and Hotland. Uh, right now, I'm going to go to Waterfall. Because not only are there some rooms I haven't called Papyrus in thanks to Undyne, but in my editing I realized, well, there are some rooms I forgot to call Papyrus in even before then. Tralala, Bueller of the man who came from another or from the other world. Come again sometime, Tralala. So yeah. This takes you, you know, just below the shop where the old turtle lives. Uh I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the rooms that I failed to call Papyrus in, so until then. So here's the first room. Uh, shoot, now I need to remember his voice. Hmm, this puzzle. I've got it. Try to build a. That's very Alphys. Yeah, <laughs> Tried to build a bridge with the bridge seeds. There we go, that's better. I'm helping. Thank you, Papyrus. And this is the other room I forgot to call him in. The room where I find the tutu. <clears throat> Wait. Why can't I seem to get Papyrus's voice? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go? I can't see you. Oh wait, but that's because you're on the phone. Are you still on the phone? Uh... Yeah, sure. Alright, so next is where I first encountered Undyne for like the last couple times. Thought I might as well show this, but sometimes the ferryman's boat can become a doggy for no apparent reason. Tralala, -la, Temi Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. And that's how you're supposed to kind of figure out where Temi Village is, unless you get told Not by the internet, which is very good at telling you things. Come again sometime, tra la la. Alright, now to just go back that way and start from a room I think I left off on. <coughs> hmm, a corridor filled with water. Now that's just a guess. I have nothing to say. Echo flowers. There's only one talking flower for me. Echo flowers. Oh, okay, so he doesn't say anything extra. Each area has a or has to have a precarious bridge. It's mandated by the government. Of course, King Fluffy Bo Fluffy Boy wants to uh, unmandate it. For wants to unmandate it's safer, okay. Why? Why? What do you think of the children? Spikes. Danger bridges. Pil the pillars of youth. Ah, oh, papyrus. Now, obviously the elephant in the room is this guy here in that block, but I'll go around waterfall and talk to anyone who might have spawned later. For now. This is where Elder Puzzler likes to stand. Block pushing, key gathering, tedious agony. It's important to respect our roots. 
Okay. That's all he's got to say about that. Thanks, Papyrus. Now that's Undyne's dramatic crack. She's always posing on top of it. Mumbling something to herself. I think it's something she has to memorize. So I got no response trying to call in this room. Hey, isn't this where I called you? I have a phot photographic memory for phone calls. Hey, when are we gonna hang out with Undyne? Soon, Papyrus, soon. Hey, when are we gonna hang out with Undyne? Again, soon. Oh, you're in Hotland now. Hey, Sans, aren't you supposed to be there? Don't worry, I am. Phew! <laughs> Finally, Sans is doing his job. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I found that precarious bridge. Again, ignoring the elephant in the room. A water cooler in Hotland? That's weird. Shouldn't it be a fire cooler instead? What's a water cooler do, anyway? Make water cooler? So it gives it spikes and makes it glow. Papyrus. Ugh. And finally... Hmm. The mysterious science house. The sign outside says lab. Lab? Like laboratory? Laboratory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> Strange dogs house. <laughs> okay then. And I was wrong. This would be the last one. Hey, you should come to Snowden and visit me. I've been working on a few things. A few s sentences to stand around and repeat. <clears throat> it's as if he knows his status as an NPC. A few sentences to stand around and repeat. Well, I'm not going to go to Snowden, because if I go to Snowden right now, he won't be there. However, he was saying we should hang out with Undyne. And thanks to that phone call with him, we know exactly where Undyne's house is. Tra la la, beware of the man who came from the other world. Yeah, you've already said that. Is there something else, Rover Man? Come again sometime, tra la la. Alright, let's go up here to Undyne's. And hey, look! Papyrus is right there. Now ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. We hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. That's a dog treat. She's a fish. Whatever. Oh god, I remember what I did to her voice. <clears throat> Hey, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi! Don't think- I don't think we've- Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> Little drawer full of dog treats. So, are we ready to start? 
whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You do have fun. Denny does that. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no, I came here to be friends with you. Then why are you here? <laughs> Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be f or you think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? <laughs> Never with you. Yes. Really? How delightful I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne and Koo would be friends with her could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? And so now we are on a quote-unquote date with Undyne here, who is a lot less threatening when she's not wearing her armor, I must say. I can't believe he left through the window like that. <laughs> Normally he nails the landing. One time Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer. Yes. And the dog's in there. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. There's forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Sounds like everything you need to cook and eat. I hate cold food. This so elf is fixed up by fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge are the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? G yeah, sure. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Office built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Well, let's just talk to you. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Alright, I've finished looking around your house. Let's sit at the table. It's down in progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. 